going to take some questions over lunch. But before we do break for lunch, we just wanted to take a few moments to um, just give you a little bit of feedback from what the session that we had yesterday. You know, we quite deliberately haven't talked about OFE today. You know, OFE is an advocacy organisation to pick up some of what Mitchell said. Um, what we did in the last year was created something called Open Forum Academy, and that is very much trying to extend the thinking, bringing in a think tank aspect to it. So we built a bridge with uh, academia and research. We now have some, a network of some 40 fellows, and uh, we had yesterday our first uh, conference, bringing those people together, or many of them together. Also today, as you hopefully have picked up on your thing, is a, the first real output from the Academy, which is a digest. And I, it's really good stuff in there, uh, really independent thinking. And, and I hope that we're going to see a lot more coming out from Academy. But we managed to persuade Jochen Friedrich. Jochen is, was one of our founding fellows. Um, he actually gets paid for by IBM. But I can assure you today he is here to speak on behalf of the fellows. So, and Jochen was tasked just to give a very short snapshot from some of the thinking that came out from yesterday's session. So, Jochen. So, thank you very much, Graham, and thank you again for uh, making my night uh, by having to prepare this presentation, <laughs> to which I'm just trying to get. Okay. Yep. So you will perfect. Thank you very much. So openness and innovation, a report of the first Open Forum Academy conference. Now, what is the um, up down this one? Oh, okay, what is the Open Forum Academy? Um, it's an independent program, Graham already indicated that, established by Open Forum Europe. It has created a link with academia and industry in order to provide new input and new insight into the key issues which impact openness on the ICT market, on the IT market. It does briefings, it does roundtable events, uh, insights events, um, it produces reports, it tries to drive thinking to stimulate thinking around openness, open innovation. Um, I was a bit uh, 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 less um, um, aggressive. I said we have 30 plus fellows, but we are approaching 40, I think, um, currently appointed. Uh, it's a broad mix of academia and industry, and it's really a high profile think tank. And so yesterday, as Graham mentioned, we had the first um, fellows conference. Uh, on openness and innovation. So, now if you think that we are a homogeneous group of, of people sitting there reconfirming each other's of their <laughs> nice positions and how great openness is, um, you should have been there yesterday. Okay? We are really a, a, we cover a broad spectrum and we come from different areas. We have academia there, we have industry there, we have representatives from organizations there. So we try to approach the, the, the topic of open innovation, uh, of openness and its, its importance out of different angles, different perspectives, different dimensions. Um, uh, really trying to bring together the, the people and, and move towards this common um, topic of openness. So openness, of course, is at the center here. And we are looking at open innovation, which you could say is, is the, the sort of the highest level, um, including something like open standards. Um, very important topic out of my perspective, since I'm a, a standardization guy. Uh, open source technologies. Um, and we were trying to address the aspects of society, the impacts, the challenges, the opportunities of openness, open innovation for society, for economics, and in a broader global context. Personally, I think it's still, it's unbelievable that we still need to talk so much and justify so much openness, that there are so many people still around who see openness, open standards, open innovation as a threat. If you look at all the policy discussions going on, I was last week uh, invited as an expert by the German parliament, which has set up an enquete committee to discuss about um, the digital future, and, and we were discussing whether openness is important there. What can you do? 
we are all using open source all the time. I believe almost everybody has, has already used or is constantly using Firefox browser. Um, we are used to it. We have seen the innovation potential that is in openness everywhere. It's astonishing that we still need to debate so much about it, but we've also seen today there are many more aspects and areas um, where we need to address, where we need to create awareness, where we need to move forward. So what did we discuss yesterday? And, and I want to give you a little idea about the, the, the topics that we discussed and, and um, the points that were made. First, openness and economics, open innovation and economics. So we diagnose there is a paradigm shift towards openness. Openness in the economy is primarily a reaction to the movement towards openness that we have seen in society, the transformation of society. Um, collaboration, crowdsourcing, they are already a normal thing today, and it's a reaction that e industry try to take it up in some way, try to leverage the benefits. Um, so it's important to open up for openness. Collaboration needs to happen across organizational boundaries in order to innovate in order to create better results. Everybody is seeing this, be it government agencies, be it industry. Organizations need to find their way, establish their processes to open up for that. We need new metrics for calculating um, TOC. New parameters are needed, um, including what are the exit costs. If we talk about uh, Assessing open products, open approaches towards closed proprietary approaches. Um, what it needs to include exit costs. It needs to include the ability to take up innovation. Um, it needs to include aspects like lock-in and network effects. So new metrics here are, are probably needed, and some research is needed on this. And open standards are, are uh, of key importance, especially for software interoperability. Um, they are a driving factor here in this area and uh, need to be um, made